Welcome back, beautiful angels. We are back a few weeks later because we had to take a little bit of time to figure out our layout. We had a few changes in our design, <laughs> aka the entire design shifted. <laughs> um, and we were a little bit intimidated by the electrical system. So that's been making us a little bit slower in terms of productivity, but also got gave us time to um, sit with it and figure out what we wanted to do and gain more confidence. And today, as an action day, <laughs> I went to Rona in Ikea and got the walls, the ceiling, stain for the floor because we chose to save a little bit of money and not buy laminate. Um, and it, we're also gonna save a little bit of space, like a little bit more headroom. And instead we'll just stain the plywood that's already there, a beautiful gray color. We got a cabinet for the kitchen that's already pre-made from Ikea for just like a main structure and then we will work around that. We will build cabinets ourselves around it. Um, and yeah, so <laughs> quite exciting. I also found some um, cabinet doors that were a little bit scratched for five dollars so got those and i'm going to repurpose them probably paint them a beautiful light yellow oh and i also got paint i got a light yellow paint and a light blue so things are moving on along finally <laughs> the electrical system is still not done quite yet but there are some things that we can still work on um, and i will bring you guys along while we are doing that all right, so let's get things rolling, starting off with vacuuming the floors, um, fixing up some little things, some little details that are missing, filling up the holes with this product, and some um, leftover wood with some glue, because some of these holes are pretty big, and yeah, hopefully sanding again, and maybe even staining today. What a beautiful day to get moving and get things started in the ambulance. Um, the electrical system is still not at all touched, um, but we were feeling overwhelmed and decided to reach out to the van life community online and the support that we've received is just tremendous and it just gave us so much more like feeling of safety and like we're not alone so whoever is feeling stuck in their conversions definitely reach out to some people ask for some help Alrighty, so these holes i just noticed go right down into um the frame of the ambulance and then opens up at the bottom so i will start by spray foaming this first then I'm going to mix some wood glue with a little um, sawdust, fill it up, and then cover it up with the product that I bought that's a little bit more expensive. This one right here. So three levels, hopefully it works. <laughs> this one didn't have a hole at the bottom, so just covered it with some sawdust and glue. Alright, so we filled up with sawdust and glue just a little bit for the bottom and then we will finish it off with that product in 15 minutes once the glue is dry. And while I'm waiting for that, I will be patching up these holes with that same foam, but I'm going to, so I just started unmounting these. Um, I'm going to put first a piece of probably some thin cardboard or something, glue it there, and then put the um, hole filler so that it doesn't <laughs> expand outside too much. So yeah, really just patching up all the holes so that this baby is airtight. Um, and we're also thinking of adding more insulation because this might not be the best insulation. Um, we might even add some foam spray insulation as well that is to be determined um, there's so much information online online different people doing different things um, so we'll have to see what our needs are and what we what we need for to fulfill those needs so i grabbed some thick cardboard made a circle for the front and the back and i will put the foam spray in between um, so i will do this for this and that and then i'm going to 
change the seal because as you can see it's dried up and old and disgusting so we're gonna change that and make it airtight alrighty so my makeshift cover then I'm gonna spray inside cap over I'll leave it like this for now just like that and then same thing for this side these are the holes that we're covering up um, so these also turned out really nice. The cardboard is stuck to the foam. And then there's also going to be insulation. And then also spray foam insulation. If that's what we choose to do. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> I'm actually kind of proud because it was very like makeshift. And it actually worked. Let's go set them back up. I'm going to use the same um, putty that we used for the fan. For around there. I think it's does the same thing. Alright, that is done. Now we get to put the putty around here. Alright, let's try it in. line the holes with where they were before. Okay. That is there. Let's leave that. Beauty. Your girl needs a screwdriver. Starting off with the other ones. <laughs> I feel like whenever you're filmed by anyone or like anything, or if someone's watching you, or right now I'm filming, I feel like you always do dumb things because you know people are watching and there's this like extra pressure of like, oh, I have to look smart and I have to look like I know what I'm doing. And then that's when you make the funniest mistakes. <laughs> Vlogging and converting an ambulance is much harder than I thought. People make really cool vlogs and really beautiful videos with nice edits, and it looks really fun and easy. And I can assure you that it's not. So go support those amazing van life YouTubers because the work that they do is hard. <laughs> but they also get to play hard. All right, so that's in. Then we add this. So for one of them, the putty comes out a little bit more on the inside and then the other one, it comes out more on the outside. And if I were to redo it, I would probably do it that it comes out more in the inside, like this one, because that way the screw fully comes in and um, there's less worry of it popping out. Um, so for next time I would do both like this, but I am really proud because we have been a few weeks now just like making plans thinking looking around just sitting in the ambulance and just thinking and this is like the first action that i'm actually taking for the last few weeks now so it's very exciting <laughs> so i would redo it like this more than like this and from the inside it looks like this and like this I love how today I'm doing a bunch of things that I've never done before. Kind of like every day in the van build. And I'm probably doing things that I'll never do again. <laughs> Ever in my lifetime. So just enjoying this moment today. 
as I'm mixing this, what is this called? Plastic wood. Interesting. Made from wood fibers. Okay. The guy at the hardware store told me that this was the best, but not to make it too thick. Let's try to flatten that out. He said to do one layer at a time. One thin layer at a time. This is what they connected the stretcher to. Is that the right word? I think so. I think it's a stretcher. <laughs> do, do, do. Today Jeremy's at work. Like every other day. <laughs> and I get to do the little things that no one will notice ever. But I know it took a hot minute to do. <laughs> this right here was a... I don't know if you guys can see. Here had like something else, some other medical equipment that was held onto that. I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. We're going to be sanding it and then making it look even nicer. Um, and this stuff actually you can stain, paint, etc. So that's the reason why we got it. And I think it was a good buy. I really think it was a good buy. What do you want to do from you? I got it from this and also a fake. Day two of this vlog. Today is a productive day at its finest. I just made a list of things that I want to complete today. And it's quite a bit, but we will move through it. It is 8 a.m. right now. And this will have this will be done by hopefully around like 6 p.m. Yesterday I had to end unexpectedly because I was cleaning up and this can that I was using to fill up the holes and spray foam. Um, the lit, this little tube thing fell apart and it started going on my hands, the foam, and it was expanding and expanding and expanding. It was very sticky. So I tried to wash it off, but it wasn't working. So my grandfather that helps us with the van a little bit, he grabbed gas and poured it on my hands to remove the foam, I guess. Um, it's an old trick to remove things that are sticky. <laughs> and so I had gas on my hands and my skin was burning. So I washed all of it off. It worked. And afterwards, I read on the bottle, it says, use water and soap, if ever, on skin. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> After that, my hands were really sensitive. I don't know if you guys can see. There's a bit, like, of corrosion and stuff. So yesterday's... Yesterday ended a little bit quicker than expected, but today we're coming on coming in strong It's always such an amazing feeling when we start working on it and open it up for the first time um, Every single day is just such a satisfying feeling to just opening up the doors and being like hey, I'm ready to work on you <laughs> So because there is a layer of um, laminate glued on flooring before um, there's a bunch of glue particles left and a bunch of glue like just patches left so we're sending that down with some really rough sandpaper and the way to know if you've sanded enough and it's ready to be uh, stained is if you put a drop of water it needs to be absorbed by the wood and if it doesn't, if it just stays at the top, it's because you have to sand some more. So, there you go. This is the before. So a bunch of glue, and then the glue also grabbed all the metal <laughs> shards. And this is the putty that I put yesterday, and it's rock hard today. Success. Day two of using this, and I'm very impressed by the consistency because it's still the same. Um, so this product is really awesome. I'm going to put one more layer before I sand these spots to really make it flat because right now there's an indent, and then I'll sand off the rest. This tube right here was plugged into here, so I'm going to go underneath and spray foam the bottom. 
It's not the prettiest, but it will do the job. And it looks like this from the top. Since I'm not a carpenter, I bought an IKEA section cabinet that's pre-made for the sink and it's going to be all from here all the way to there and then we will build our own custom shelving for the rest but at least there's going to be that one good structure so I'll get on to that because you know how long IKEA cabinets are usually to make. <laughs> It is officially 12 and we still have so much work to do but we had to bring everything inside because it started to rain so drilling the holes now going for lunch doing a work call and then I'll be back a disadvantage of a van build is that if it's raining we have to stop working but unless you have a genius grandfather that figures it out mes chambres set up <laughs> Jeremy just came back from school and he gets to see all the hard work I put in. This is for the sink in our kitchen. I just finished my work call. I ate and now we have to sand a little bit more because we just did the water test and it didn't absorb it. So Jared, do you want to take care of that? And I will drill in the knobs. <laughs> Let's get it. Could you try out and see if the where I put the knobs it would work for you as well? So Oh you marked them? Yeah. So let's say you like you were about to go up, like how would you go up? Alright, so big decision to make. Yellow, green. Yellow, orange or green orange. Which one looks better? Hmm. Probably the scariest thing we've done so far is just making holes in the structure of the van. So from the outside in is so scary because you're just making holes and you don't know if you're actually lined up or not. So here's the moment of truth, seeing if the two holes I just made are aligned. Please be aligned. Oh yeah! <laughs> yeah! Alrighty, so there's a bolt, a washer here. Another washer is going to be right here and then we'll put silicone seal around it. Um, this is just screwed in with an allen key, but depending on which one you're getting, um, it's probably going to be a different setup. This was actually made for wood, like for like a playground for kids, not necessarily to put through metal. So I kind of have to improvise so that when the screws go through the beams, I have to use metal screws, which look like this instead um, because I can't get to the other side and then tighten it with a nut um, but for this one the first one I did is the easiest one and um, I can, I'll show you guys from the inside how it looks like oh I forgot the 
Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so silicone steel. Yay! All right, so we are at the before last one, putting some caulking around. Mission complete. All right, so we're covering the walls with this. We drew out the box, the wheel, and the excess. I'm gonna cut it up. Good morning! Yesterday was a crazy day. I worked from 8 a.m. to around 9.20 p.m. <laughs> and I did not stop except for a call for work and food. Um, so today is another big day, but I called over some help. So both Jeremy and my friend Alice is gonna help us out today, um, which is awesome. I'm so happy about that. Um, yeah, yesterday was a crazy day. The list I made was a little bit too optimistic, um, but we're gonna finish it off today. Last night, late at night, we cut out the this wall, um, and today we have the ceiling left to cut out and measure out and make holes for the fan and the LED lights, etc. Um, and then some little minor detail, like the little wall here, um, we're gonna do that this morning and then maybe install the solar panels today I don't know if it's raining there's like funky clouds so maybe maybe not and then last but not least um, we're gonna paint the walls white and stain the floors today the first layer because we stand like crazy madmen yesterday oh well, I stand like a crazy madman I have a tendency of always saying we but I'm alone. <laughs> we being me, my soul, my heart, my... S my <laughs> Anyways, okay. Clearly I'm tired. It's still 8 a.m. this morning. Um, but yeah, let's get this set up. And when I say Santa like a madman, this is what I mean. <laughs> Ooh, I have some really exciting news. I have a friend that's going to come tomorrow to make artwork on our walls and I'm so excited about it and that's why it's so important to paint today so that the paint dries off, the white paint, and then the artist is going to be able to paint over it. Um, so this vlog is probably going to be a three day vlog of just like really intense work, um, getting things going. This is like starting the flow back again because we've been slacking for a few weeks now we've had the ambulance for two months um we demolished it we did all those things but now we start seeing results this is the before after All right, so we drew out the two first lights and the fan. This is the first board for the ceiling. Using a four inch hole saw. All right, we had a storm scare, but finally the clouds moved away with the wind. So beautiful, as you can see. These were the spooky clouds that we <laughs> were scared about and we hit everything quickly, but now we're good. So we are setting up here to paint because we finished cutting off all the pieces of the walls and the ceiling and we're ready to paint. <laughs>
day three and we are with Sam and Kayla and we are creating the masterpiece. We at EKA Sam is creating the ma masterpiece that's gonna be on the main wall. And this is the before. While Sam is painting, we are going to stain the floor two times, two coats. Look how beautiful this gray is. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> We're using a cloth and it's kind of interesting. It's a staining cloth. Ooh la la. First layer. This is the sketch. I don't know if you can see anything with the sun, but anyways. Kayla and I have completed the ceiling. There's two constellations, Pisces and Gemini. And the holes here are going to be the, the LED lights. And it's also glow in the dark. <laughs> Yay! Alrighty, this is how the first layer dried. And we are coming in with a second layer. And the second layer this is the final product for today. There's still some details left. But we are tired, thirsty, and hungry, so we will leave it at that. I wish you guys all a beautiful day. Thank you for watching this vlog. <laughs> Bye!